finished diagonal flying and wave hands. Okay? That's where we were. If I remember correctly. Okay? So, we're going to start with the diagonal flying. So, let's do our wrist. Short form or long form? Huh? Short form. Short form. Short form. Long form. I mean, never get through it. 108 moves. Let's see, we do two a day. Yeah, that would take us a couple of years, wouldn't it? So, we're stepping back. We're opening up. I turn, I, we talked about this, I turn my left toe and my right toe so I can get in the right position. Then I come up and here's our wave hands. Hands, the body moves, the hands don't. So that's, the, all they're doing is coming up and down. So there's three of them, that's the second one. Here's the third one. Finish the third one, then I make my hook, and again it's a single whip, so it comes around. Okay, so this is the snake creeps down. All right, so we're going to spend some time on snake creeps down. All right, and you're all going to do whatever your body lets you do. Okay, so you are the you are a snake. All right, so the first thing I do is turn my right toe. I shift my weight. Notice, watch my hand. It comes around, and it's going to go down my leg. This hook stays out here. Comes up, like that. Okay? Now, if that's too hard, but you, two things you got to worry about is your back and your knees on this. This is, this is a, this is a toughie, all right? So you want to make sure when you're doing this, you notice I said I turn my toe because I want my knee to go with my toe. No matter what I do, I don't want to drop it in or try to turn it this way because this little knee doesn't like that. So I shift my weight. I don't even, I can say just like this. Now, you can turn the left toe when there's no weight on it and shift this way. Notice your knees are really far apart, really far apart. The goal is that you need to get that front toe to the corner as best you can. Because you're not going to have a chance to change it when you come up to Golden Rooster Stands on the Leg. Okay, so we just finished the end of single whip. I turn my right toe. I shift my weight. My hand is my snake, I'm part of my snake. I come up, now what I do is I turn my left toe, my right toe, left toe, see how I draw my body around? Then I can put my weight on it and come up. That's because I can't turn my ankles that far. There are plenty of people that can just do the whole thing and when they are in snake creeps down, you know, I'm not sure I can do it, they're already there, they just can come straight up like that. That requires a massive amount of leg strength. So, and I bet you we've done so many exercises that you guys could all do it. You couldn't have probably when you first started, but you could now. So those of you at home, you need to make sure that you've got your, make sure you can see me. So I turn my toe out, I go down, I turn my right toe in, shift my weight, turn my left toe, then I can put my weight on it and come up, up. And then go to the rooster, which we just practiced, actually. Okay? And then the kicks. So, questions about how a, a snake creeps down? Everybody pretty much got it? Or you have any questions on it? You got so, it? let me show them without the step-by-step. -step. Okay. So, just as a smooth, you know, you. You come out, one of the things about it is you come in and relax, immediately start out. Only get down as far as comfortable. See the, the feet, it is feet just like I do, but it's a smooth, continuous flow, which is what we're trying to do, a continuous flow. You do not have to go down far. A lot of these masters, are, you've seen them, their butts on the floor. Basically, it's 
right on their heel. Well, they're not going to have you with this girl, that's for sure. So no let's one do, tells her to heal. <laughs> yeah, no one tells me to heal. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it. Okay, let's do it one more time and let's keep going, okay? So, we're at the end of single whip. So we're going to do snake creeps down. And on the first one, come up. Golden Rooster stands on left, right. Then you're going to separate. So do cross hands, kick, cross hands, kick. Now, turn and strike with your left heel. Now, we have modified that, so everybody did it the way I've modified it. You turn to your left, so you just kick with your left foot. Put this foot behind you, and then you can just step around so you can hear, and then with your left heel. Okay, can we go through the separate right and left one more time? Uh -huh. So if, if you watch Mary, and I'm going to just say a few things that she's doing. Okay. So. I mean, most of the time you're trying to follow, so it's hard to see, but she does stand on one leg now. Notice that it's immediately smoothly in the first one, and smoothly into the second. She doesn't stop. She puts the toe down, turns, comes back up, and kicks. So we say, you know, do this, do that. But when you're really doing it, you want it to just go to the first one, smooth into the second, go into that third. So it's the flow. The weight shifts are still there, but the flow, but I, I divide it out so that you know, separate it out. Where, where's your weight, how do you move your toe, okay? So, let's do, let's, we're not gonna do another snake creep stand because it's hard on your back, so you're gonna just play like you do a snake creep stand. <laughs> this is our fate. Okay, golden rooster stands on left, right, separate, cross hands, right, Left, turn, just draw that foot around, draw in, cross hands, and strike with the left heel. Now what's important is when you do this kick, bring the toes back. Yeah, it's not a toe kick like we just did, it's bring the toes back. And on this one, you're kicking anywhere from somebody's knee, always a good, always a good point. Knees are fragile, and if you can always, if you can even get to somebody's knee, you don't have to kick very high to do that. You can kick them in the shin. Now, I'm assuming that if you're a master, I'm kicking you in the head, but this girl is gonna kick you in the head. I so, couldn't get that high. <laughs> so, a couple of things. One is, this is something that you do at your rate or ability, yeah. and Mary can do it pretty darn smoothly, but, when you come around, kind of the, the way I learn, which is much more difficult, you know, you do the first, you do the second, is to keep it in the air and boom, come around. And I'm not even supposed to put the toe down. So it's, that's someday. <laughs> then there's the, there's the okay. kick. Oh, no. No, no, I don't mess with my hips. Yeah, yeah. And one thing is, you can leave the toe on the ground until you're balanced. Yeah. And then do the kick. So don't then it'll feel like you have to keep it in the air the whole time. Get your balance. Once you have it, it's a heel I, kick. I have a question about the kicking. So, you know, there is a. Um, and this is from just a martial arts mm -hmm. class I took, that it's here that you are lifting the knee up and the lower part is doing the kicking. Right, yes. always. Always yeah. up, you know. Always on all of our kicks. So it's this preparation yes. that's here, whatever place that you're gonna kick. Yes. Exactly. And then you extend the and lower then, so part of the leg. That's why I always say knee, heel. And it's fast. So you, some people may not even, you know, figure it out. But it's but funny that about, and it might be so low, and then you wouldn't notice it. Yes. And but it's, it's 
just first finding a place of balance, exactly. bringing the knee up, whatever. Wherever it is. My right hip is not happy, so yeah. it's low. My left hip is fine, <laughs> so, it, so it depends on how do I hit you. Am I going to do left or right? So it's not a swing. No, up. no. never. So you right. see that in karate and you see that in kung fu, never in tai chi. So they, they do the big kicks up here, we don't do that. If it's going to be a big kick, it's going to be one where you still don't feel, you never lean back. Because you have to lean back if you're going to do your hip, because if you're moving your whole leg, that, your leg weighs like 30 pounds or 40 pounds, and so you've got to lean back. Now guess what? All I do is just push you over. I don't have to hit you. If he starts to do that, you know, I'm just going to miss the kick. I'm going to duck from it and just push him over because he's going to start grab it and push him. If that's embrace the tiger. That's what that is. If you kick me, come up slow if you can. That's embrace the tiger. Is that I'm doing this, and guess what? He's toast. Yeah. You know, he can't. And it's also snake creeps down. Yeah. If they're kicking and you kick overhead and then you come he here. comes up there and throws you back. So that's another. And when you turn around, what did you say? You said you cross your hands? Cross, yeah. uh, cross hands. So that, that gets you into So I turn around. I call it cross hands so that I've got my hands here. It's a scoop oh, and out. So, yeah. so it, it's a centering thing too. It centers. It, puts you, it draws you in. And then you can put the, the correct hand out. Yeah. And the yeah. easiest martial art, she talked about going for the <laughs> knee, but if someone has their foot this way, you don't even have to get to the knee. Right here is fine. That's about the same height as what I'm talking about. And here mm -hmm. on the shin with their leg forward, doesn't have to go high at all. You're just bringing it up, boom. And they're going to go, they're going to go, oh, and you're going to kick them in the head and then you run. <laughs> Don't, yeah, uh, or wherever you can get them. That's the, that's the, yeah. Just move right to there. Now bend overhead. And that's your chin, so boom. We got it, we got it. <laughs> All right, so let's go forward from there. All right, so let's do our fake snake creeps hand. I don't want you to get 